without uh, Zufa. And, and Zufa as well, correct. Yeah, so um, there's a couple of, uh, quite a few goals. There are 20 odd goals there missing from, uh, <laughs> yeah. from the lineup from Redland in the first couple of weeks. So they'll have to find some other avenues to kick goals. And uh, one thing that's held Southport in good stead the last couple of weeks has been their super defence. So um, yeah. both teams got super midfields as well, Liam. Yeah, um, but two contrasting styles, don't you feel? Um, Redland's um, very much an outside team. They're very efficient with their foot skills. Uh, whereas Southport, much more contested, they like to keep the ball in close. Um, and really good tacklers as well. I think they had uh, five of their players with more than five, or eight players with more than five tackles last week. Yeah, that's impressive, isn't it, man? That's a good sign of work rate. Um, and the, the intent that Matty Angus has brought to this group, that they get after the opposition defensively, that's uh, been a really strong trait for Southport. So here we are for the first bounce at Cash Easy Park for this Queensland top of the table clash between Redland and Southport. No one quite wins the first ruck. That's the first clearance of the day to Pope. Mallon's on the end of it. Handles back to Pope and that's the first inside 50. Not to the advantage of Goldsmith and that's a good defensive effort there by Redland. And that ball is going to travel out of bounds. No, not quite. Couple of hands, contested footy, bodies flying everywhere. And the boundary umpire finally calls the first ball in for the day. Now, Sars, I think uh, that ruck battle between uh, Brewer and Hunter is going to be really interesting today. Yeah, so you've got uh, you've got Brewer who started forward, I think, down there, Liam, and you had um, and you had uh, Big Brennan in the ruck there early, but uh, Southport looked to have a little bit of ascendancy there. Redland rebound from fifty. That's only going to go as far as Geary. He goes back to the big Brennan as we were talking about just before. Brennan inside fifty. That's a good defensive mark from Lovett, and he's got runners. So Cass out of defence. He's got he's got Luke Scott. New this week, he puts it to Salter. Leading possession winner for Redland so far. He's been wonderful in his first two games. Salter to Smith on the right forward flank. Smith weighs up his options, decides to go back. He's been got one of, Paul Hunter. Sorry, we're one of the young stars of the comp at the moment. Josh Smith, he's been uh, super so far and really works hard in games. Deep inside 50, could have been a shove, but he's gotten away with it. Southport will have a few players to work this out. Salter drops. A relatively simple mark. That's a good tackle in the forward line. Redland turn it over. Cass. Back to Salt Sir Scott, sorry. That was Grewer over there Brewer. on the boundary line. The other He's Scott He's got brother. Scott deep into full forward, and that's a good defensive mark by Keller. So Keller. And I think he Yeah, it's the old play on behind the goalpost there, Will. Yeah. Uh, you can't use the goalpost to shepherd you, and uh, Jake Keller's given away behind there. Probably not the worst result. Just going to be a kick in from where he initially had the ball anyway. So that's the first score of the day behind to Redland. Dangerous kick from Keller and Salter's chopped that one off. Salter takes on the tackler and it's decided it was a push in the back. So that is the first free kick of the day. And that's a couple of clumsy efforts from uh, Wade Mills. I think he was the one who turned the ball over inside 50 coming forward. Now he's just given away um, a simple push in the back. Yeah, Probably need a better technique there. Yeah, you're right, Liam. You can't fault Wade Mills' uh, desire and application on game day, but uh, sometimes his precise kicking skills can let him down. So Salter has had an exceptional start to the season. He shows no signs of slowing down so far. A couple of early touches and the first goal of the day. So that puts it out to a seven score line, of, a score line, I should say, of seven to zero. And I think without, um, uh, without uh, Redland's two leading goal kickers in Zufa and um, Hughes, that forward pressure is going to be really important today for them to lock the ball in. Um, and they've really got to maximise all their opportunities that they get. Yeah, totally agree, mate, down there. And it actually, it changes things up. I mean, you're less sort of predictable going to Hughes all the time and you're less predictable going to, I mean, Zufa sort of, he finds his own ball down there. He's a very good player. But uh, to have Hughes missing means that uh, the predictability of Redland going forward is a little bit harder for Southport to, to counter. So Brennan and Hunter can test, contest this one again. Hunter wins that one down. Couple of hands on it, but Redman with the clearance. Long to full forward. Here we go, Thompson on the left foot. Thompson, oh, that's curled through beautifully for Nat Thompson from the pocket on the non-preferred non foot. Matt Thompson was good last week. He kicked a bag as well. Gee, a couple of early goals here for Redland, and they've come out of the blocks bursting. Yeah, it's good clearance work, Liam. Straight yeah. out of the middle there. So, I um, can't remember who got the kick through the middle there. Was I think it, it was uh, Josh Smith. Josh Smith, that's right. Who's, uh, who we commented on there before. He's just a prolific ball winner. But the pickup of Tommy Solder down there uh, 
coming out of full forward, a very undersized full forward down there, boys. Number 44, Tom Solder, but uh, Matty Thompson, non-preferred left. One of the uglier kicks I've seen on <laughs> someone's left foot, but it made it. So uh, Just had that nice fade back in. Yeah, it doesn't matter how they get there, Liam. So it was Southport that have started very well the last few weeks, but Redland are the ones that look like to be controlling the momentum so far. Hill gets a fist on that. Gruer's down there. Southport should be able to work this one out of defence. It's a scrappy kick and it's only going as far as Pfeiffer. So Pfeiffer with the ball. Uh, and we'll just quickly to cut in, Pfeiffer's a massive, um, massive signing for Redland. He's a quality player. He um, spent a number of years on AFL list and he'll add a lot of class to this side. Meanwhile, he turns the ball over for the first time today. <laughs> Comment sorry, to curse. sorry to cut you off there, Liam. Grayson, he's got Haslam in the back pocket. He's very good last week, Haslam. Yeah. Hard-working midfielder. Yeah, he's from the Victorian amateurs. Down the line, he's got Brennan. Oh, who's going to give that to? Play on, he calls it. Brennan, over the top. He's got a couple of runners. Here's Geary. Little shove in the back, and that's going to be paid. Crowd not happy with that one. Geary. A bit clumsy there, Matty Sondergaard. Didn't have to uh, tackle the way he did. Glad way to free kick. He's Headland. He was exceptional last week as well. Back to Hazlitt. Scrappy handball in the middle. Scott. Back to Headland. It's not pretty football, but it's going to work out. He's got Mallon on the end of this one. Mallon's going to run onto it. He's got a bit of space here. Who can he take on? Mallon. Little soccer. Redland. That's Cass with the ball inside defensive 50. And that's a ball up about 40 metres out from Southport's goal. Hunter wins the tap. That's Goldsmith. Mallon again. Mallon hooks onto his right foot, puts it to the hot spot. And is that Lovett underneath that? Lovett takes the mark in front of Wells and decides to handle back. Redland now. What can they do in defence? That's only going to be chopped off by Haslam. Haslam looks for a target. He's got a few screaming for him inside the corridor. Haslam. Had a few short options. Decides to go long to the big man. It's a great kick. And that is going to be snaffled by Mitch Brewer. As you called, Will, there. Absolutely fantastic kick from Haslam there. And it's going to be very difficult for anyone to get around um, all 120 kilos of um, big Brewer down in the forward line. He's a big, big man, isn't he, yeah. Mitch Brewer? But... Um, Actually, Sam has he had a few options uh, directly lateral, top of the 50, and he ignored those. It looked yeah. like he might have been slow to move, but he knew what he was doing. He was just waiting for the big fellow to get on the move, and uh, Mitch Brewer provided a nice little option in a, in a perfect spot to have a shot for goal. He was composed, wasn't it? Weighed up his options, went to the big man, and Brewer doesn't do justice for the good setup. So that's Southport's first score of the day. They've been very inaccurate so far this season. Obviously trying to just um, test out the height down there in, in Redland's defence, Liam, with, yeah. uh, with Brewer starting, starting forward early. So this is Adrian Williams. Southport have kicked 33 goals and 53 behind so far this season. It's yet to cost them a game, but certainly kept Aspley in the contest last week. Redland, a couple of scrappy kicks. This is Rogerson in the back pocket. Rogerson treads a bit of water. He goes back to Williams. Williams can play on from there. He's got Pfeiffer out wide, but he goes short of the Brewer. Pfeiffer's still there. Brewer, down the wing. Oh, that's a great mark by Grayson. And Grayson's an experienced player. They've got him from Labrador last year. He's, um, he was a star of the competition there, and he's been a great pickup for Southport so far. He's excellent last week as well. Grayson, it's a two-on-one contest. No one can take the mark. Goldsmith at the bottom. Tackled by Williams. And that should be a ball up right near the boundary line. Bit of a feature so far, we're only, what, 10 minutes in or so, and the tackling pressure from both teams, boys, has been outstanding. So we're in for a, uh, a really good contest today. That's a good tackle by Goldsmith on Williams. Players wanted ball. That's Godfrey. Handball's over the top. He's got pass field. Back to Williams. Grewer. Grewer takes on the tackle. He's done very well there, Grewer. He's got Cass on the end of that. The co-captain, Cass. Spreads it out wide to the left-footed Rogerson. Down the wing. Salter's on the end of this. And he was already out of bounds before he got the kickoff. So that'll be a boundary throw in on the wing position. And just a, oh, sorry, Craig. Um, just a quick word on uh, Rogerson. He's, he's only 19 years old, but he's already proved himself at the club. He's in the leadership group uh, since the start of last year. And for someone that young, just shows how highly they rate his maturity. 
So Brewer. Wins the ball down a few handballs inside. Dribbles towards the 50. Oh, that's a high tackle and it's going to be paid. That's against Deedee Mallon. So Rogerson, as we are just talking about, he's going to win this free kick. Nice matchup that too, Liam. Uh, yep. Rogerson on Mallon. Mallon's, um, he's always a handful down there. He's sort of your medium small forward and he's, you know, just works uh, very, very hard as Eddie Mallon. Bursting through the corridor is Smith. He puts it long to full forward. Oh, and, oh that's an unlucky result for Estel. Thought it was good body work, but he just got decided. I think he just grabbed the jumper there a little. Yeah, the probably a fair though. decision. Dangerous back here. He's going to give it to Geary. Geary's done well. Holds the ball aloft over to the top of San Miguel. Couple of handballs. Time to Headland. Handballs out wide. They're going to go down the line. Brewers underneath it. Drops the mark he probably should have taken, but he does well enough to pick it back up. Good agility from the big man. Haslam. Inside 50, and Burton's on the end of that one. Burton can wheel around. It's a poor kick inside to Geary. And it's been chopped off quite comfortably. So Thompson's going to rebound this out of defence. Thompson to the wing. We've got a few options here. That was great ball movement, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't a Luke Scott's kick there on the way out. But um, the sloppy kick there by Nick Burton wheeling inside. Um, and the idea to play on quickly for Southport there was a beauty. However, the skill execution was really poor. And that, uh, that's turnover city there, top yeah. of the 50, isn't it, every time. So you've really got to make those kicks... Uh, Kicks count. So Estelle has kicked two bags of three so far this season. Is that going to curl back? Not quite enough. Started online, just drifted and didn't fade back enough. So that's another behind for Redland. And it's going to be a big game for Estelle today. Obviously he's been kind of the third forward in behind Zufer and uh, Cleve Hughes, but he'll have to sh assume a lot more responsibility today as the key forward. He's had, um, he's had a super pre-season as Reese Estelle. He's, he's bobbed up in halves of pre-season games and kicked three and four goals. So as you say, Liam, he's, he's certainly got the job ahead of him today. So Geary on the back flank. Takes on Salter. Little chip and it's going to work out. So this is Wells. It's a good option inside. Burton. Decides to switch. Better kick. Much better kick from Burton. Headland. Handles out wide to Grayson. Lands in front of Merritt. And that's going to dribble over for a boundary throwing on Southport's left forward flank. It's a long way home from out there, isn't it? They, they got the switch OK across the middle of the ground. They probably went maybe a bit too far wide out that side. You probably want to try and stay somewhere close to the centre corridor if you've already made the switch. So Brennan's going out for Southport. Wins the tap down. It's good work by Burge. And he puts it inside 50. Little soccer. This might work out for Southport. That's a great kick to Goldsmith. And Goldsmith's another one of those mobile forwards. Um, I've watched him a couple of times this year and he's just got super hands above his head. And he's also really quick on the lead, which showed there. Just got a bit of separation from his opponent and the kick was, uh, was perfect. It was a great kick, wasn't it? The, the one that puzzled me just before it was Josh Bas Baxter not electing to mark that ball <laughs> coming forward, didn't he? Most forwards were diving for that one, taking the chest mark. Goldsmith's faded that one as well, so this inaccuracy really haunting Southport so far. They've had a couple of shots. A couple of good chances too, Will. They haven't yeah. been, uh, they've been up the centre corridor and not that far out from goal, so a couple of really guilt-edged uh, chances gone begging. In round one, they kicked only six behinds in the first quarter against, uh, I think it was Gold Coast they played in round one. And that's that inaccuracy you were talking about uh, all three of their games this, this year so far, mm. Will. It's a 30 goals and 50-something behinds, is that right, yeah. so far for Southport? Yet to get more goals than behinds. That was a sloppy kick out of defence from Redland, so we're going to have a ball in, about 50 metres out. Tom Michael here for Redland, gets the front position. Off hands, this is well done by Southport. They're going to win the clearance. Salter, Campbell back into the pack. Bit of a scrap here that's going to be brought up by the umpire. And Will, you just called the name of Tom Michael. He's actually Sam Michael's brother. He's um, an old uh, Redland's product himself. He's now gone on to play for the Lions. So. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll see the same career path yet, but that's one to watch. Redland win the clearance. Couple of hands. That's Passfield, gets his kick smothered. Smith. 
bit scrappy here, bit of a lull in the game. No one really has the ascendancy. That's good work by Redland though. Gura gets it onto Thompson. That's a very strong tackle by Shreve. Yeah, that's a good no tackle. No one's getting out of that. That's a great tackle, isn't it? I mean, Matty Thompson uh, didn't, have, didn't have a lot of room to move, but Luke Shreve was just super with the tackle, just didn't uh, didn't let him out. Redland wearing their normal away strip today too, boys. The, the red yeah. jumper, but obviously um, there's always that colour clash with uh, the white of Southport. There's this good movement by Southport. Oh, is that a trip? Had to be. So Grayson's going to take his kick. He's got two runners on the outside. Birds was there. And Birds gets on the end of it. So Birds can have the first shot for goal for him. And he's missed that badly as well. Very badly in the end. Out, out of bounds on the full. Wells was screaming for him in the corridor. Well, it's actually puzzling how, uh, how Geary and Birds got loose out there on yeah. that far side there, Liam. It's, uh Probably something that the Redland midfield we've got to be very conscious of. I think the more worrying thing for Coach Matt Angus though is just this inefficiency coming forward. They've oh. had so much of the ball and they're just absolutely butchering it coming yep. inside. Yeah. What's the inside 50 count at the moment, boys? Um, on the inside 50s, we've got seven to three to South. Uh, sorry, seven to five to Southport. So it just shows there's yeah. a slight dominance there. But not uh, capitalising on the scoreboard. No. Another boundary throw in. Rogerson tries to get a kick out of there. Goes nowhere in particular. I've seen a bit of this scrappy contested footy. Both teams willing to throw their weight around. And the game's been played on Southport's terms at the moment, but they're just not making the most of it um, going forward. The, the tackling pressure's been superb early from them, but they've really got to start taking advantage of it if they're going to get a result out of this game. Well, here we go. We've got a, uh, an infringement to Brennan and the Ruck, but uh, they're certainly talking up the inside 50s, lads. And here's another one for Southport. Deep to full forward. No one can take a mark, but once again, Redmond are able to work it out. Smith. And it was back to Howard. That's a, too much on that one for Cass. And that's going to be intercepted. So here we go. Back inside 50 where we came from. Mallon underneath it. Can't take the grab. It's like they've got a loose man down there, Redden. They're just soaking everything up. Smith. It's a poor kick, though. That's been chopped off by Shreve. And that is Redland's game plan to possess the ball. I think they had 440 disposal, uh, disposals against the Lions last week. But I think um, probably over-possessing a touch, Craig, do you feel? Yeah, they are probably on the way out. You know, that, that chain of hand passes there. Just the one that Brad Howard overcooked through the middle was, uh, he'd probably want that one back again. But uh, again, going forward, Southport have been patient enough to wait for the big fella to move. This time it was Luke Shreve. It was Sam Haslam, uh, what, five, ten minutes ago. But uh, just being patient, waiting for uh, Big Brewer to move and then finding him on the, on the lead. Badly need a goal. And there it is, first one of the day for Southport. So Brewer's been presenting very well so far deep in full forward. You feel like he deserved one and the team definitely deserved one. So they've finally got a major on the board and that takes it to 2-2-14 playing Southport 1-2-8. Um, and with Kieran Brennan back in the side, it looks like Southport are going to be happy to leave Mitch Brewer deep forward today. Um, and obviously that big body is going to be hard for anyone to get around. And you've seen already he's taken a couple of marks out on the lead. Um, and it's uh, finally turned into a score for um, Southport. It's a very big body, no doubt about that. He's, um, what, a good 120 kilos, but he's actually very agile. And uh, as you saw there, moves first to the footy as well. So there's enough leg speed there to get off his opponent and uh, create a little bit of separation there, Liam, just to get on a nice lead and, and uh, go back and slot it. So well done to the big fella. No one really wins that one down. Godfrey's in the middle there. Southport get first hands on it. And another free kick, that was a strange one. So Pope's been the beneficiary of this one. He's got Grayson out wide. Grayson can play on. Grayson to Wells, too much on it for him, but Mellon's sharking it once again. Redland might just do enough. Sondergeld, his first touch of the day. To Michael, good handball yeah, skills much better, there much better. from Redland. Grewer puts it to the advantage of Scott. He paddles it forward in front of Hill. Foot race here, Hill gets back, but he carries that one over the line. Yeah, super chain of hand passes out of the fence that time. Uh, no coughing the ball up through the midfield, which has cost him on a couple of occasions. So Sondergeld was very good for Redland last week. It's hard to name someone who wasn't very good for them. It was a massive win over the Brisbane Lions reserves. He was a bit touch and go with an ankle during the week, but obviously he's come up okay. So Southport able to shark this one. That's time. Puts it to no man's land. This might just work out for Southport. Here we go, Baxter. Handles out wide, he's got a bit of space. 
Puts it forward to Brewer again. He's going to have to run onto this one in front of Williams. Brewer does very well below his feet once more. Wells, from an impossible angle. Wells, it was touched off the boot anyway, so it wasn't going to be a goal. I'm going to sound like a broken record here with Brewer, but you just saw the strength of him there. He held his opponent off, clean hands, picked it up below his knees as well. That's exceptional from someone his size. He's going to be a real asset today. So Williams in the back pocket. It needed to be a strong mark. Let's love it. Goes back to Williams. It's a good kick onto the chest of Jones. No, it wasn't a good kick. My pet death perception just got the better of me there. So it's out of bounds on the full. So back inside 50. Ambitious opportunity. Yeah. And then it was chopped off once again. So these rebound 50s, they're just clocking them up so far. Redland, Sondergaard, doubles back. Not quite low enough for his preferred target. So Southport are able to chop that one off. High, back inside 50. Big pack goes up. Couple of hands on it. Redland, rebound again through Rogerson. Rogerson's been terrific out of that back half to start the game. He's just cut off a lot of um, their forward attacks so far. So Brad Reese gets tackled, handballs back to Cars. Cars to Salter. Keller was there with him. So that's going to be another boundary throw in. You're right there, Liam. Uh, Luke Rogerson up to uh, eight disposals now coming out of defence for, um, for Redland. The um, leading uh, ball winner for uh, Southport is Ben Headland with eight and Todd Grayson with seven. So here at Cashesi Park, round four Neeful Clash, first place third. Southport win that clearance on the wing. That's a good mark in defence. So they're able to set up an attack now. It's a poor kick to Sondergeld. It's going to work out Howard bursting through the middle. Howard. Oh, it's another poor kick inside 50 for them as well. So this one's going to be rebounded back and forth. It's just aerial ping pong at the moment. Pope. He's got Tyne. That's a poor kick from Southport. So free kick out that side to, um, to Redlands there, uh, Will. But probably would have liked to have seen... Um, they uh, look really promising there. Probably Brad Howard with his speed might have been able to take another he just bounce. Didn't, he just didn't compose himself. Yeah, before just he a, a little bit deeper, you know. That one yeah. that you kick to the top of the 50, I mean, it's probably a bit of a skill error, but um, if you don't get in deep enough, you can't put enough pressure on the opposition. That's, That's a great, great mark. Paul Hunter. He was super last week in the ruck for Redlands after um, Malone went down. It's handy that he can go forward too, isn't it? Yes, so Hunter to the hot spot. Oh, it looked like it was going to be a good mark to Grayson. But he gets the ball back anyway. So Grayson on the end of a handball. Don't argue. Handball's are back, but it's been intercepted. McKenzie's there for Southport. But this one should be balled up. About 45 metres out from Redland's goal. Good game of footy so far, guys. A lot of, lot of pressure. Probably uh, a few too many skill errors at this point. But uh, hasn't, just, hasn't quite opened up, has it? It's just the intensity, I think. Um haven't quite seen it from um, any other, other the, of the teams they've played so far. No, that's right. I mean, these are, these are two teams that defend as well as they attack, and they've probably come up against opposition that they've, you know, they've had arm wrestle for 15 minutes and then blown them away. So this is uh, quite a different uh, game of footy. Well, that's good work from Southport this time out of defence. He's in trouble, but somehow gets a kick away. Goldsmith can't pick it up. And so this is going to be Smith that picks this one up. Nice kick. Composed kick on the wing to Hunter. He's got Grua. He's going to land at his feet. Hill's there with him. But you're right, Craig. It's everything we expected from this Queensland top of the table clash. Two teams have performed very well in their first few games. I think Southport have um, just steady things in defence down there, Liam, too. Uh, the options that Redland have gone to just the last couple of forward movements has been wide across the top of the 50. Yeah. So here we go. Back to the hot spot. Salter's there, but that's a good spoil by Southport. That was, that was Mills in there, that's just what he does. He gets his body into the contest and he's a super competitive um, player. So, Redland have had a few opportunities here. They've had a few ball ups inside their attacking 50. Hunter, blind handball over the top to Cass. Cass on the right boot. That's going to be spoiled over the boundary line as well. So, Estel couldn't get away from his opponent. And I think that's, that's the difference with not having Hughes and, um, and Zofra in the side. Normally you'd probably see Mills go to uh, Hughes, and Hughes is experienced. That's um, a lot of that throughout his career. And but he's got uh, Estel at the moment, yeah. isn't he? So he's, yeah. he's got a couple of centimetres over Estel. So that's a snap there from Stephen. He kicks it behind as well. 
So yeah, it's, you wonder what sort of influence Zufa and Hughes would have had on the contest so far. Very tight game, guys. Possessions are 89 to 85 in favour of Redland. Uh, nothing in the clearances, 9 to 8. And the inside 50s, that's where Southport hold a slight edge, 12 to 8 at the moment, but uh, not showing it on the scoreboard at the moment. Oh, that's a poor error. Very poor error from McKenzie. He's taken a step over the goal square. So this is as good as a neutral opportunity gets for a team. What do you think of that rule, boys? What do you make of that one? I think it's fair enough. If you, I mean, you've got all that room to work with. Yep. If you step on the line, I think it's your own, own fault. Yep. We're going to get a replay. Cricket are bowling the no ball, isn't it? Yep. But um, it's, a, it's a harsh penalty, isn't it, for, um, for what, a, a centimetre's worth of boot. So Pope wins the clearance, but Grua on the left, and he can't get enough on it. So that curve just too much for him. It's good though for Redland at the moment. They're just controlling the play in their front half. They're uh, certainly pressing right up the ground. There's no one in their, in their back half at the moment. No one forward for Southport at all. And they're really pressing well, not letting the ball out. McKenzie, brave to take on the tackler. Tyne, down the wing. Hassan can't take the mark. Thompson's at the feet of it. Thompson will gather this one brilliantly. Thompson back inside 50, where it came from. Oh, but underneath it Mills. was Mills. And he plays on immediately to Burge. Burge out wide. It's a good kick in board. Southport can set up from here. Oh, that's another poor kick from Southport. So Redland dropped a handball he probably should have gathered. Southport get it back. That was a super handball um, off um, Blow's nose. And how did he get all that space? He's played on. Oh, that's going in Dunstall's dribble file, I reckon. Should be. Oh, what's what's, what's happened here? I think yeah, there's a free Push kick out. against Southport. I'll tell you what, Baxter's lucky that run um, didn't continue on because yeah, uh, he should have yeah. kicked the drop pump from there. The, uh, the dribbler wasn't, <laughs> was never going to count anyway, Liam, but uh, yeah, he's, he's probably lucky Jason Dunstall doesn't get to see this tape. Well, maybe he does, but. Um, the, uh, the worst part about it was that Baxter was free at the back of that contest and uh, Eddie Mallins managed to infringe against uh, Luke Rogerson and give away a silly free kick inside 50. Well, you could see Mallins' intention. He wanted to exploit the free matchup, but he just did too much. And you're right, Baxter's got away with murder there. That's a super kick from Smith oh, as well. Great spoil by Pope running back with the flight. Didn't infringe. So he's got Burge on the inside. Start to, starting to rack it up now too, Will, is uh, Jason Burge. He's up to eight touches. So he's got Salter, out well, wide to Keller. Sorry, Will, to cut you off, um, but just Burge becomes so much more important now with uh, Hayden Keel's unfortunate ACL injury. He's, he's really got to step up and, I mean, everyone knows that he will, so it's just great to see him getting his hands on the footy early. That was a good kick by Keller. He spotted a free man in Ben Merritt. So this will test him, Will, right at the top of the 50. Probably going to kick from, uh, what, 52 or 53 metres. But those midfielders are really starting to rack them up. Fraser Pope's got 10 touches at the moment, Liam. Yeah. 27 minutes into this first quarter. That's not going to make the distance. Goldsmith's there. Couldn't take the grab. A few players underneath it. It's scrappy. Mallon wants to kick a goal. Oh, it looks like... I think it was Baxter. Touch. Paid touch. Oh, Baxter liked it a lot. Gee, if we went to the vision, I think it would have been inconclusive. Well, that's going to be a good one to have a look at, isn't it? Because uh, it was just a quick snap off the... Um, off the ground, it probably looked like it flicked someone's shoulder or arm on the way through. So um, Josh Baxter claimed it, but uh, as all good forwards do. Kel's done very well to beat Hunter there. Geary's there, and that's the siren. So a very tight, interesting first quarter here at Cash Easy Park. We've got Redland 2 3 15 playing Southport 1 4 10. And how'd you see it so far, Craig? Well, I mean, it's been a really good game of football, Will. Um, really, really tight. Both teams, are a lot of defensive pressure, plenty of opportunities for Southport. Redland started really well, got the jump with a couple of goals. Um, but since then, uh, what have we got? We're talking about the inside 50 count. They lead at 14 to nine. So they've gone in five more times, Liam, without the result necessarily. So five scoring shots each and uh, Redland hold a five point lead. So just at the back end of that quarter, all those, the usual suspects for um, Southport were starting to get their hands on the ball. That's uh, Fraser Pope and Tyne and Burge and Hedlund and Grayson and Callan Geary. They've all had really big quarters. So um, not a good sign for Redland if those guys start getting lots of the ball, but uh, at the moment they hold a slender lead. Yeah, I think that's pleasing signs for them that those guys have had so much of the footy, but um, they're in fact in front of the game. Um, I think 
You mentioned it's been a really tight contest. I feel it's ebbed and flowed a little bit. Maybe Redlands had the better of the opening five, ten minutes, but then Southport came right back into it. And then at the back end, you saw Redlands had the ball down on their 50, but couldn't capitalise. So I think it's just in the second quarter and for the rest of the match, whoever takes their chances um, is going to come out on top, as with any game of football. So that's quarter time here at Cash Easy Park. Six-point lead to Redland.